Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general weekend reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And also, personal reading links are in the description box below. Do click on the link if you would like to receive a discount for July's personal readings. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to do here, as you can see, I already have six cards out. So we're going to take a look at more predictive energies for the weekend to see what may be coming towards you over this weekend in all areas of life. And the first thing I'm going to do is give you an overall message for the weekend. Okay. Okay. You have the three of pentacles. All right. So this is a card representing work, learning, teamwork, partnership and commitment. So the overall energy message here for you, Virgo, is to um, read the fine print, really learn about something before saying anything, before speaking on anything. Take your time over this weekend to try to understand um, what you may be dealing with, um, reading contracts. This is also about working on skills and uh, collaborating with other people and if you're working on any kind of crafts or anything this weekend put your nose to the grindstone and you also have the knight of cups so this is an overall energy of a love offer coming in as well as possibly a proposal or someone taking some action to express themselves to you okay and it can be also receiving love all right virgo so let's get into this weekend reading so you're starting off with the home card, gifts, career, long distance, travel, and fun times. Okay, so I'm going to read this a little bit in a Lenormand way. Um, if you're not familiar with that, well, maybe you'll learn here. So starting with home, something to do with property or real estate. Okay, um, you might be selling your house or having an open house. Maybe you are buying a house as well. You could be looking at residences over the weekend. You may also be getting involved in real estate as a career or looking into that over the weekend. You may actually be a real estate agent. You could be sending gifts to people, um, maybe former clients. You could be also receiving gifts from clients or former clients as well okay so i feel like there's definitely a surprise gift that will be coming to you over the weekend um receiving something as far as for your home and it could have something to do with the job you may also receive an advancement um there's success in business here so i do feel like um you might be traveling for work this weekend as well, like long distance or going to some type of conference or something along those lines that have to do with your career. Some of you might be traveling to your uh, initial home base, um, like your where you originated from as well for your career. Some of you might be thinking of buying a house or looking at properties that are at a distance to you. So there's a lot of travel connected to this weekend for some of you might be taking a vacation or starting your vacation this weekend um, and also a honeymoon energy as well so um, if you've recently gotten married this might be the weekend that you're going on your honeymoon or starting off your honeymoon this weekend i also see a lot of fun times happening here for you so there may be some parties or events that you're attending and really just getting out there kicking up your heels having a good time doing whatever it is that you like to do or creating some type of party or hosting a party as well okay um so you may also receive a gift for travel as well so someone might present you with tickets um to go somewhere to go uh on a vacation or to to um at most seeing like maybe a concert you might get some concert tickets or um purchase some concert tickets and give them as a gift to someone also over this weekend. Um, let's see. Some of you might be traveling to a foreign place as well. Well, it could be a, a foreign country as well, or thinking about that, going on a vacation to a foreign place also. Let me see. I also am hearing somebody uh, could be purchasing an RV and living out of an RV or um kind of remodeling um like a, a bus or a home um 
a, a bus or like a, a van or something and living out of the van. <laughs> kind of like, you know, how they, they do that stuff on YouTube that people um, remodel their homes and equip them with kitchens and showers and kind of live out of them. Or you might be thinking about that. Maybe you're watching something like that over this weekend. You might be thinking about doing that or wanting to just sell your house and get into one of those RVs and just travel. And man, that sounds amazing. <laughs> that just sounds amazing. If you're doing that, that's awesome. Um, someone also might be gifting you a home as well so yeah i mean it could be an inheritance or something that you receive from uh family members that have passed um somebody might be buying you out as well um if you're kind of splitting a home um that was left to you as well over the weekend okay um let me see what else is coming up here for you over this weekend Some of you getting the key to a new place as well over this weekend. Or you're selling a home if you work in real estate or commercial real estate, residential, whichever it may be. Let's see. Might be also a, a home party as well. Okay, so you have Ice Queen, Gossip, <laughs> Children, Destiny. Wow. Spiritual growth and work. Work always shows up in the in the Virgo readings, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so let me take a look here and see what's going on here. Okay. All right, I'm also seeing a single parent. Um, very discerning. There may be some people that you are connected to through children um, and these other... Hmm. There's some gossip, definitely. Some small talk, grapevine stuff. There's some neighbors. So if you have kids or grandkids, or you're connected to children in some way. I feel like over this weekend, you might hear about some gossip that's being said about you. Um, these people could also be just very childlike in um, talking about your separation or your divorce um, or... Uh, talking about your your parenting skills or something like that you know tell those people to take a hike virgo um some of you also might be working with children over this weekend too there's also gossip at work as well i feel like you're you're gonna hear uh, something on the grapevine now it may not be about you you just may decide to ice those people out and not involve yourself in any kind of work gossip or things that you hear, okay? Um, there may be some people at work who are saying like, you know, Virgo is kind of icy, cold, and uh, it's probably because you don't want to involve yourself in any small talk or BS, and so good for you people are going to talk let them talk what can you do about it right you also have um spiritual growth here so there may be something that you are learning over this weekend in revol in uh, regards to your spiritual growth okay um so connecting with higher power with spirit um, whoever you choose to call the light in your life um i do feel like that's a really important aspect of your life that you are trying to fulfill so you you may be doing some yoga uh, maybe you're sitting outside over this weekend and really like connecting uh, to spirit having that spiritual growth you might be meditating and um, getting into some spiritual practices some of you might work as spiritualists as well so there may be something here in regards to your um, spiritual work if you're a teacher of some sort maybe you're a tower reader um you may be thinking about going into spirit, some type of spirituality business or alternative type of um, business, starting a business too over the weekend, putting stuff together in that way. And uh, I'm also hearing um, some children saying their teacher is like not nice. So you may hear something about that over the weekend also. Um, you also have destiny, luck, chance, and a meant-to-be situation happening here over this weekend. Uh, some of you might be getting your palm read. Maybe you go to a festival or a fair. Um, you might be studying or reading about, um, maybe you want to become a palm reader. That's pretty cool. Um, but also here, like, um, 
Oh, somebody's name might be destiny also. And I'm also hearing, um, well, there's an, there's an element of chance that's happening here and good luck for you. So, um, yeah, I'm not really, sh I'm not too sure. It, it, it does sit next to the Knight of Cups. So there could be a meant to be situation with a love offer that comes in over this weekend. And it just blows your mind. It really does. And it could be someone that you um, are involved in some type of university or school. Um or someone that you work with as well. If you are on a team or you collaborate with others, somebody definitely comes forward over this weekend to make a love proposal or a love offer. Okay, let us see what else is going on here for the weekend for you, Virgo. Okay, wow, beautiful. You've got freedom. And you have obstacles. You've got wallflower. Brunette female. True love. And money. Money, 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 money. All right, Virgo. So you're single. Being single. Having your freedom. And also freeing yourself from some obstacles. So I do feel like whatever challenges you may, might have experienced over this weekend, you're going to feel free from those especially. Um, and also, if you've been someone who's been withholding um, yourself back from others, maybe going into hermit mode or feeling uh, a bit shy, or if feeling like you've only got limited potential, I don't know, I feel like those obstacles get smashed over this weekend. And somehow you're free from that. Like I don't see you, you know, sitting against the wall, looking at everybody else enjoying themselves. Um, some of you uh, are, have been looking on social media and um, kind of looking at other people at how they have been prop, uh, propagandizing their lives to make it seem as if they've got everything perfectly together. And uh, some of you are like, you know, I've F this. <laughs> like you're not looking at that anymore. Um, I, I feel like some of you are just not comparing as well. You're freeing yourself and creating your own um, life here as well. Now, some of you might, uh, there might be someone here who's a brunette female listening, or there's a brunette female who is a true love of your life. Okay. Um, and this brunette female, she's very intense, very focused. Um, she does not speak as much as she watches. She's an observer. Um, she keeps to herself in a lot of ways. Um, when she speaks, though, it's, it's, it's choice words, and she doesn't skimp on the way she communicates. Uh, she's not a small talk kind of person. Um, she's, she's very focused on what she says, and she makes sure that her message gets across and hits the target right on point. There's a true love situation here with a brunette female, okay? Um, I also feel like some of you have a true love of money, and that's the relationship that you're in right now. Um, not You're being single, casual, getting yourself out there, smashing obstacles, and some of you are seriously just saying, you know what, I'm married to my money right now because that seems to be the only thing that's not letting me down. <laughs> There's a great potential with that, right? So some of you have just kind of closed yourself off in some ways from um, relationships. You're staying single, living a casual life, and um, focusing on your wealth, okay, and your finances, which is great. Um, I do feel like an obstacle will be overcome. Um, it, that involves a, a brunette female. So if that's you, I've already said that. If that's not you um, and you're connecting with another female who is brunette, I do feel like there's a true love, uh, honest communication and connection that evolves with this person and or for you as far as love goes. Okay. Um, let me see here. You're coming, like, I, I feel like you're coming out of some darkness here, for sure, and really getting yourself out there, freeing yourself. Maybe you're, like I said, traveling, you're up in a plane, uh, looking at the blue skies, looking up to the sky. There's so much freedom in the clouds, looking up there and seeing all that open space as well. Let me see. Your obstacles for money 
and your obstacles involving money will be crushed over this weekend as well. Some of you might be meeting uh, a brunette female over this weekend as well. That There's like an instant connection, an intense love connection. Okay, let's see what else you have. Okay, so you've got past life. You've got young female. You have mature man. There's passion. There's friendship. And karma. What? Okay. First message off the bat. There is a young female who may be connected to a mature male. Um, this is only a friendship. Okay. This is only a friendship. You do have a past life connection with someone that is very passionate and has amazing chemistry. Okay. Some of you have made a decision and going forward will make a decision that a past life connection that you do have um, at best will just be a friendship going forward. Okay. Um, there might have been some toxicity connected to a mature male as well. Um, there is a mature male who has a daughter as well that you have a past life connection with this mature male. Um, this young female, very youthful, musically inclined, and involved in some type of fashion as well. The mature male is or older and mat or mature in age. But there is some karmic karma turning around. The toxic situation is creating a new opportunity. Okay, for you in your life. So you could be connecting with somebody new who is either of your age um, or who is just mature in age. Okay, and I just feel like if you have a concern about uh, someone that is a past life connection that you feel is. Um, like you just know this is your person and there because there's a lot of chemistry and a passion for each other if you feel that there is someone that you have a connection with that is kind of goofing around with somebody else i can tell you that that is only a friendship and nothing more you say he's just a friend i mean <laughs> that's how i feel that it's more not even a friendship it's more or less just an acquaintance that's connected to networking okay yes absolutely okay now, isn't this crazy? It says blonde female, but I'm pretty sure that person has orange hair or red hair. But it does say blonde female. So light, lighter hair laid back. Okay, let's see. You also have dating queen. And dating. Wow. Past love again. Oh my goodness. Control. And mature woman. Wow. Lots of stuff happening here. So, um, hmm, you could be a mature woman with, that has light hair, who's very laid back. Some of you are going to start uh, dating that past lover. That energy comes up over this weekend as well. Uh, I see you, Virgo. I guess you're coming out of your, your hermit mode, but I see you um, maybe taking some dates as well. Wining, dining, romance, connecting, having a few drinks with someone over the weekend. Um, preferably a dating partner. But I also feel like there's a past lover who um, hmm, this is interesting. And there's a past lover here who um, was very controlling as well. And very kinky in the bedroom. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say that here on YouTube, but you know. Hopefully that's not too, <laughs> hopefully that's PG, maybe PG-13. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is interesting. This uh, So you might be connecting or dating. or uh, There's a light female and a mature woman as well. If you are someone who's interested in women, you might have a couple of choices as well. You might be out there dating and uh, you could very much be, De uh, connecting with two people who are so completely different. One is tremendously laid back and one is like high society, is like a connector, socialite, very flirty, very extroverted. Okay, so you've got a couple of options here 
as well over this weekend, male or female, that you may have to be making a decision. You might be dating both of them at the same time as well, trying to make a decision. Um, I feel like some of you are also putting a past lover in the past because of controlling behavior. Some of you are taking your power back over this weekend and releasing this energy. All right, we're going to go through a couple of more. Okay, you've also got a soulmate connection <laughs> next to a twin flame. Open relationship. Jeez, you've got a triangle. Wow, see, here comes the drama. Kick out your can. Here comes the drama, man. Union. Beauty queen. Holy moly. Virgo. Okay, you're kind of like... I don't know if this is my soulmate or my twin flame. And I feel like over this weekend, you're going to be pondering this. Um, or pondering whether or not, because I do see some type of um, marriage, partnership, serious relationship offer being made to you also over this weekend by one or two people. And the question is, do I accept this offer? And if so, is it from a soulmate or is it from a twin flame? Yeah, there's a little bit of confusion going on here. Um, Virgo, you're looking fine over this weekend. And I feel like some of you may have been in an open relationship or someone may be offering that, but it looks like you might be saying, you know, I don't know if I want this casual thing. I really want something more committed or more serious. Okay, Um but I see here with this triangle, it looks like you have a couple of choices. And I said that in the previous part here. There may be a crowded relationship or you are trying to make a decision if you want to let somebody go. Okay. Some of you also might be on stage over this weekend doing something, having some fans, shining your light. You could work with makeup. You could be someone who's just in entertainment in some way um, and something to do with beauty. You could be behind a counter selling cosmetics as well and doing some makeup artistry, something along those lines. You also might be doing something with hair over this weekend as well. Um, anything that's uh, under the umbrella of beauty, okay? Um, and that's, you know, that could be for the males as well. Um, I definitely feel like um, there is a twin flame that uh, could be coming in to offer marriage or long-term commitment, a serious relationship. And I feel like um, also... You might, you might give consideration to the twin flame, your twin flame, and that you might have, like, it's like a decision here. It's like, okay, do I stay with my soulmate or do I accept the offer from the twin flame? You know, it's kind of confusing because you're not sure um, what to do um, because, you know, I don't know. I feel like you're following your heart is what's happening here because a soulmate is kind of like someone who's just a great connection. We have a good relationship. We could be friends. I feel like you're going to come ultimately to the decision that um, one of them is just going to be a friend for you. And the other, like I said, um, you will accept an offer from a twin flame that does come in for sure. Okay. Um, now others of you might not, and you might decide to keep the twin flame a friend and go with the soulmate. Okay. So you, you have uh, some questions here as well. Okay. Definitely. But you are attracting a soulmate and a twin flame because look at you with this beauty queen, you know, you're just, you're hot to trot. You get your leather pants on, <laughs> you got your wig, you're doing your, you're doing what you're doing here. All right. One last one. One last one. Okay, so you've got young male, communication, family, you've got short term, you've got true gem, and you also have new love. Okay, so for others of you, uh, I do see communication with a young male, okay, texting, phone calls, some online communication. This young male is uh, sporty or into sports or is athletic, into cars or has a nice car, very youthful, doesn't have to be young in age, could also just be youthful looking. <clears throat> but this might be um, a short-term kind of connection where um, I don't really feel like it gets off the ground and I feel like um, 
like it's either a quick fling or it's coming to an end like it's time this thing i do feel like you kind of look at this person where you know hey they're a true gem they're a great person but just not going to work out maybe it's just someone you've been talking to or you will be talking to that really doesn't last all that long and it just turns into you know nothing nothing much i do feel like this is uh uh with the new love uh, there is someone who is youthful or young who does have um an interest in you but there seems to be some type of difference they may be connected to your family okay or your soul family or um a group that you are a part of there may be an age difference for some of you or just you guys aren't kind of in alignment, but I feel like this young person or this youthful person um, really values you. And I do feel like they, they, they may, like they kind of get like, I don't know, uh, <laughs> really wild over you while you guys are talking. And they, I do feel like it's someone that you might actually start talking to over this weekend where they're, they're, I don't know if this is like a cougar situation or a DILF situation, but I do feel like uh, it's a young person who just kind of falls head over heels for you, you know, in the sense where, you know, they want to buy you jewelry. They do all this crazy stuff. And so, okay, whatever. It's cool. But I don't, uh, you know, I don't, you might accept the offer. You might not. I'm not really sure, but I definitely see this energy coming forward for you. And, um, but it looks short term. So I just have to put that out there. Okay. Have to put that out there. Now, some of you could be connecting also or communicating a lot with, um, a young child, right? Um, but it's, it, or spending a lot of time, uh, with, uh, a young child so so it could be a very young brother or it could be your youngest son or your a young son or a grandson it's a family thing so it's connected to your family um i do pick up um someone who is younger than you texting you over this weekend saying you know what i bought a piece of jewelry for this 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 girl this guy that i met and um we haven't been dating that long, but what do you think? And they could be asking your advice about that. Do you think I should give it? Is it too soon? We've just really started dating, that kind of thing. So I do feel like there's some communication about that over the weekend. Um, and it could just be a young male friend, or it could be a young female friend that's just kind of talking to you about that. They may even say that someone offered jewelry to them or um, proposed um, or something. And there's uh, there's advice seeking. So I feel like you'll be in a position, I see you texting, like trying to give some solid, good guidance to someone who is connected to your family about another person and a love offer and that kind of energy. So, I mean, the weekend looks crazy. <laughs> It's a lot of different messages, so I want to give the caveat that the, because these messages are kind of across the board, I want you to understand that some of these may or may not evolve for you. It, it, and it may be the entire thing that happens for you over the weekend, or it may just be one message, okay? So just kind of go with the flow with that and see how that goes. I'm hoping that YouTube will offer chapters under this video so that you'll be able to click on the different chapters. I'm not sure if it's doing that or not, but we'll see how that goes. And one final message of love for you before we close out this weekend reading. And I hope you are all staying cool in the heat wave. If you are, if you are um, being bombarded by this crazy heat wave. All right, you've got soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Now that is key. Something about a soulmate over this weekend. Something, okay. I just want to get one more because I just need to clarify. I just need to, uh, I just need to clarify. Why is the soulmate showing up here? Why is this the one of the biggest messages here for Virgo? Okay. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. So it looks like you're, you're, you're going to have to put firm boundaries up with a soulmate. Not really sure why, but it looks like, yeah, that's something you're going to have to do. Now, soulmate can be a friend. Um, it can be a lover as well. Um, but it looks, I don't know exactly why for you, Virgo, usually soulmate relationships, you know, we already have boundaries set and they're not really confrontational, but something showing up here for your weekend that seems pretty significant that you're going to have to either put boundaries up 
or say no, and that could involve an addiction, okay? And that might be what the boundaries are. Soulmates can also be family members and friends. They don't always have to be romantic. So you may have to put up some kind of boundary over this weekend about an addiction that is affecting your relationship with this person. Okay, that's going to be it for your messages. I know it was kind of short and sweet, but it is the weekend and we're ready to party. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Make good choices. Love yourselves. Love others. And I will see you all back here Sunday. Take care.